I've been getting questions off some of you asking what bag I use. I've got the World Pro Whistler 450 AW. I'd say the pros are, carries quite a bit of camera equipment and I've got all my outdoor gear as well because I'm in a t-shirt now but soon enough that's going to turn to rain so I can be prepared for everything. I like walking up with layers so I've got to fit all them in but the cons are it's it was really expensive I think it was 250 quid which is way more than I wanted to pay but it seems to be worth it so far and the other downside is because it holds a lot of equipment it's annoyingly heavy but it's as heavy as you make it but I'm gonna put the bag down now and we'll go through everything so this is the bag this is the bag when it's full um, all your outdoor stuff goes in this top section so I've got a hoodie a thin top another hoodie got a drink and that's a gorilla pod that I usually use with that camera and then on the front usually it came with two of these straps this one went across there but I found it really annoying because you'd have to take it off every time you want to do this zip so I just took that off another good thing is on this zip here um, so that's the front compartment but you can undo this one and it puffs out a little bit and gives you a little bit more room um, I find that's quite handy if you put in bulky stuff in so if you put in a bigger coat in that's quite handy so put that away for now quite a decent sized space though, so you can cram quite a lot of gear in there. You can put ice axes and things on the front, but I like to put all my heavy stuff closer to my back. I find that's easier to carry. So I put my tripod on the side here. So there's two straps. I tend to put this one around all three legs and then this one is around two just so that it sort of catches it there then that one locks it into place so I find that's really easy just put it in like that this one goes through there and then this one just locks it into place And it doesn't go anywhere so that's quite handy I always tend to walk up and run down so with my old bag I used to have to put the tripod inside the bag and then it was sort of about here so whenever I ran down it would like smash me in the back of the head this is out of the way it's about here now so that's a lot better and then on the top there's another compartment here um, I've got some sweets, some gloves, um, that's a windproof, that's a rainproof, another pair of gloves, um, compass and map. Oh. I don't use these ones because I find them a bit too big, but there's like a pocket inside the dividers so you can put batteries and memory cards and that kind of thing in there and then in this compartment here that's a rain cover for the full bag I've been out in really heavy rain and not used that and it's been fine but I guess if you're out there for a long time it might be a good idea to use that so now we're on to the more interesting bit working out how much camera gear you can carry I've never had a backloading bag before and I found this is way better. First off for safety, even though that's not really a big issue around here. There's not too many people that are going to nick your stuff, but it's nice to know it's secure. I often 
not on purpose, but I forget to zip this up if I see like a different scene. So I just chuck it on my back and then it, because it's against my back, it stays shut. I wouldn't recommend doing that, but that's a nice perk of it. And on this one, you can open it fully or you can do it. There's a seam here so you can fold it and get the camera out or you can do it all the way down and get all your camera gear so I've got 5D Mark III with a 24-70 there's filters, there's trigger releases some polarizers 135mm lens cloth and that gap is that video camera that's a 70D with a 10-20 to and I put the microphone there and then I don't understand this bit. It's not very big, so I tend to just put a business card with my contact details on it, just in case I lose it. And there's also these ones, which they seem really pointless to me, so I probably won't use them. And then also in here, there's a cover. For if you want to make it even more rainproof. I've not used that once yet. Um, just like an extra thing in the way of getting the camera. I'm more, uh, like I'm usually running up to a scene and then I don't want an extra thing to faff about with. I want to just rip the bag open, get the camera and then go. So it's nice to know it's there though, I guess. So that's all the main stuff. I guess we could check out the weather briefing. I don't really want to pile too much on, because this is my water for the day. But the water just seems to power off it pretty well. See how it just... It doesn't seem to stay on there, so... Well, it stays on there a little bit, but it's not as bad as you'd expect it. One of the things I like about it is the speed that you can get your camera ready. So we could do like a little speed test. So I've got the bag on my back. Just drop it down. So that's the camera out, and then if you want the tripod as well. And then that's ready to shoot as well. I was quite slow with setting the tripod up then. Um, my tripod's a bit old and I've stood on it a few too many times so it doesn't like come out as quickly as it used to but hopefully that gives you an idea. Obviously you can shoot handheld which is why I showed just the camera first but if you've got time to do a, a shot with the tripod then even better. This is quite nice. Um, but what else is there? Ah, I almost forgot my favourite bit about it. So there's a little pouch on the side. You probably could put a compass or something in it, but I know we put sweets. I'm not too sure what you're supposed to put in there, but that's what I put in there. Once you've got all this stuff in it, it is quite heavy, but you should expect that because it's heavy stuff that you're filling it with. So I'll show you how well it fits because that helps and the straps on it help um, just secure it, so we'll do that now. So there's this strap that goes across your stomach, so that just clips in and you can tighten it with that. Or there's, there's these ones that go across your chest as well. So once they're on, it doesn't really move that much. So if you like running, then I find that helps a lot. 
just feels a lot nicer. I think having all the heavy stuff closer to your back makes a big difference. Because if you put the heavy stuff at the front, like um, on this part here, it's going to pull the bag down more, in my experience anyway. But hopefully that gives you an idea. It's difficult to get across in words how heavy it is, but I imagine you already know how heavy your equipment is, so that's going to be the deciding factor there. But I'm not sure how well you know the Lake District, but that one there, that's Connor Snowman. And I can get to the top of that in an hour carrying all this stuff, so maybe that gives you an idea of the speed that you can walk. And another thing is, the thing that I like about having all the stuff in one bag, that's not specific to this bag, it could be any of them, is that I like having everything that I definitely need in one place. Um, it just gets rid of all the excuses, really. If you know that you've got all your windproofs and rainproofs and everything, um, you can just go out and you, you know your map's in there, you've got your compass, and you're sorted. So, that's been a big help to me. I've done a few more walks recently just for that one reason. So, I wasn't planning on doing any gear reviews on this channel, but I hope you found it helpful. I can sort of see why you wanted this one, because when I was looking into buying this bag, all the other videos were basically just brand new bags with the label still attached, and I don't trust that. I'm not sponsored either, by the way, so I'm not sure why I'm saying all these nice things. But yeah, hope you find it helpful. I'm gonna head up that way. So if you wanna see my videos, please subscribe to the channel and let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see next. See you next time.